Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of From the Depths. I'm Exterminator, and thanks for joining me. So, I did a tiny, tiny bit of work off screen beforehand here, and uh, have decided to do a few things. So, first of all, we actually captured uh, one, one of the, the dudes, one of the ships, from the Onyx Watch in our last battle, which I hadn't noticed until I spawned into the game this time. So I scrapped it since it was already like a third of the way dead, and we got a lot of metal. We went from like 290,000 to 580,000. Um, it's ridiculous, like literally. Um, like I watched it happen. It just kept going up and up and up. So we now have almost 600,000 metal. <laughs> so we can spawn in pretty much anything we want, and uh, and yeah, and then I, what did I do? I retrofitted this guy to the very latest model, which uh, now has some shields in the back, which you'll see when we go to battle, and I put him into play and throttled it all the way up to get the uh, max speed, since um, people kindly informed me, informed me it was a uh, the speed is taken while it's in play. And as you can see, its speed is now 10. The whole thing's speed is 9.5, which helps. This guy might be slowing it down. But, uh, yeah, as you can see. But, well, actually, that's because of that one. But I think we're actually going to scrap the Dark Seeker. The creator of it actually suggested we do so. And, uh, and yeah, I don't know. Um, he just said that the, you know, the ammo capability and stuff just isn't really up to par right now. So... What I'm going to do is, uh, I'm just going to scrap him. I feel kind of bad, but it's been a good run, and uh, I'll spawn something in, in its place, a uh, boat, because I kind of want to keep my fleets the same. But, yeah, let's go ahead and scrap him. So you can just go here and do scrap, and um, go ahead and say yes, and then the resources will kind of flow in, or they just did instantly. But, uh, but yeah, so now we need to spawn something else in. So I also sent our sensor satellite. I uh, put him into play a little bit ago so we can reach his max altitude and reveal, like, the entire map, <laughs> it seems. Um, so we can see there's some pretty powerful guys here. Um, these guys are coming over here. But, yeah, so let's go ahead and uh, spawn in. Oh, one other thing I wanted to do here is the um, da -da -da -da, light fighter. Um, the creator of this said that at this point, like, the two anti-boat missiles it has are uh, kind of inadequate. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually scrap him as well. And then I'm going to spawn in another air unit. Um, and, and get that added to that fleet. So I think the same person made, um, where did it go? The Condor. I could do that, or the Ragjet, which I think is made by the same person who did the Phoenix. I'm not, again, I apologize, I don't remember every single person, R. R, 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 Ragjet. I could do both. Why don't I do both? Yeah, let's just do both. Wouldn't hurt, right? So we can watch this spawn in. People say they do kind of enjoy that part, so I don't need to really skip that. Um, hopefully, yeah, we can probably get the spawn in there slow as hell. Resource zone here, resource zone up here. This guy is uh, still reaching altitude, not quite there yet. Um, so quite a few. I mean, we're going to be so rich at this point. Is this the... wait, 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 wait. Hold on a minute. <laughs> Phoenix. Is the Phoenix the same thing as the Ragjet? Because they look almost identical. Did I just spawn the damn thing in twice? I did that with the helicopter. I might have done that just now. Possibly. Well, I don't know. I guess we will uh, we'll find out. Forces. Okay, I want you to... Um, God. I know it's in here because I already used it. Split. There we go. And then on the map, damn it, wrong button again. On the map, um, where are you? Ragjet, you can go this way and then uh, merge with those dudes. I don't, I, but, uh, nope, wrong, 
the fuck are you doing? Oh, right, well, that just messed him up. Oh, well. Um, no, you need to go back into play. All right, there we go. Now you can probably work. Okay, so now we go into forces, or fleets, rather, would probably work ragjet, go into helicopter sea fire. Correct. There we go. And uh, let's spawn in that uh, condor as well. Would probably not hurt. Spawn you in. And uh, spawn in the condor as well. I have so many resources I want to spawn in. There was a huge battle last episode. We're going to get a battle or two this one. But this episode, I kind of want to go... Where the hell? I just saw it. I kind of want to uh, spawn in quite a few things. And, uh, and yeah, I mean, you guys haven't complained about that part that it needs to be skipped. And I enjoy watching it. So, uh, yeah, and you. So, like, I don't get it. Like, when I took it out of play... It's altitude dropped. Is there... There might be... Oh, I mean, I know I can, like, drag and set. So maybe that's what I need to do so that when I take it out of play, it stays at its altitude. Well, that's, um... What strength is that again? 130... 170? Something? Not sure. Okay, so we can watch this guy... Being spawned in is a bit bigger... In fact, I'll probably have to use this again because this won't hold it for long enough. I feel like there should be a longer duration on that. Like, don't you? I mean, like, 30 seconds or... No, shit. Fuck. Nope. Select this vehicle. <laughs> That's not what I wanted. I keep forgetting that when I hit this, it disengages the thing. Wow, so this is a different looking unit. Good. I, I like variety. I like having this different variety. Then we also need to spawn in a ship as well. Which we might... I think what we'll do is we'll take care of this battle first um, to kind of separate things out, you know, within the video. And then um, and then we'll spawn in some type of large ship to take place of the uh, Dark Seeker. So he has a shield on the front, kind of like the Phoenix. Um, not exactly. And a gun in the front, kind of like the Phoenix. Um, actually uses blades. Hell of, I think, that's, I don't know. I don't know if these are spin blocks or or just the dedicated heli blades or whatever, but pretty damn awesome. So, you are done. Off. Nice. So you use those to take off, and then I assume your jets, once you hit a certain altitude, to go? I hope. <laughs> oh, jeez. Or not. I don't know. Okay. Condor will go like that. Really not sure. Um, Condor. Okay, let's um take you out of play. Pretty damn fast, that's for sure. So the jets obviously have to engage at some point. And uh, now we can go ahead and combine you, sir, with... Oh, let's select you. Merge. Five. Sweet. All right, so you, where where the hell did you go? You, sir. All right, max altitude. So if I just set that like so, then maybe you will stay at that, perhaps? So, wow, this, this <laughs> it revealed a lot. It revealed quite a large amount. I mean, that's kind of what satellites do, right? All right, so let's, um, let's go ahead and take, um, let's actually take our submarines this time and our air units. And I will pull everything. Um, we'll see if that messes him up. It looks like it does not, which is perfect. So let's go 10 times. You can uh, head out this way. I said this way. You can go this way. And uh, yeah, we will engage this strength 39. Four of them here. I said fight, dude. Like, come on now. Okay, so there we go. Um, right. Well, 
What? Well, I know. I want... What? How do I start a battle, guys? What? <laughs> This happened last time, and then it just like started. I don't. I. I want. I want to just start like now. Fight. <laughs> what the fuck? I don't know. I'm an idiot. I really need to actually like read up on this stuff. But, dude. Oh. <laughs> Screw you. How do I fight these guys? 35, so you're telling me I have to wait like 35 seconds, like a minute and a half at the beginning of every battle? No, I don't think so. I know I'm going to get yelled at by you guys for not knowing this, but I mean last time... Oh, I'm an idiot. God damn it. Guys, shut up. <laughs> don't say a damn thing, okay? Don't say a damn thing. Okay, so you spawn in. Um, and then you... And then you, um, I actually want you to spawn in f before that, and actually I want you to spawn in, like, there, and then you go there, you go there, and then, yeah, okay, that'll work, yeah, so, I'm sorry, I didn't, you know what, I thought that was, like, just, like, a visual thing, alright, <laughs> so, calm down, alright. 25,000 block count, begin battle. Let's go. And the lag begins. Wonderful. Um, great. Fuck. Um, what do I want to warp to? Let's warp to the condor. Dude, like, what the fuck? I want to warp. Okay, there we go. I don't know what I'm warping to. Warping to something. Oh no, are you gonna crash? Okay, whew. So, it looks like our air units are doing something. That actually, no, that's a helicopter. I'm trying to find, was that the condor up there? I don't know, but here's another one. I think this thing is, um, what is it? Info. What are you? Stockade. Yeah, that's the thing I captured. Um, and then I scrapped off screen. And it was like a third of the way destroyed, so you can see how we got so much metal from this. I just like scrapped like three quarters of this thing. Because I mean, it's cool and all, but I'd rather just spawn in vehicles you guys submit. So it looks like they're focusing this, which won't last long, and him. Okay, you are the Condor, I believe, or are you the... No, you're the Phoenix. Condor must be somewhere, and the ragjet I think is over there. I'm not really sure. All right, so he is dead. You are going to like back up into your own guy, so that's that's kind of funny. Go ahead and do that for me. Oh man, those missed. Oh, but they curved around and hit him. Very nice. And you're just <laughs> oh man, these guys aren't too smart, huh? So yeah, since these guys don't really use missiles, um, shield stacking seems very, very strong against them. Almost too strong. Um, oh, here comes a missile. Let's kind of zoom in here. Oh, man. The amount of, like, cannon shells and stuff flying is ridiculous. We're going to get quite a bit of metal. And we didn't even use, like, it's kind of ridiculous. Like, this might be the point of the game in which, um, where are you? Where are you dudes? No, it's still on the same thing. Damn it. Oh man, he's going down now. Because before, when you would zoom out, you could like select your your whole fleet again and then warp to which one you want. But like now, it doesn't let you do that. I don't think. Oh man, right on top. 
Oh, are you gonna miss? No. Okay. Laggy, so something just blew up. How are our dudes doing? 100% across the board. <laughs> yeah, this is a little bit unfair uh, at this point. A little bit of an unfair fight. Here come all these like bombs from the uh, from the Sky Buccaneer. And who are you shooting at? You're shooting at the Phoenix. No way you're going to hit him. Sky Buccaneer's up there still dropping stuff. I'd really like to find... Okay, well that's you. Is this our condor? And our rag. Which one's the rag jet? I, I know I should be like watching this. Oh, something just blew up down there. He's not long for this world. Okay, you look like the rag jet. And the condor is... I'm not sure where. Over here maybe? Like way far away? So this guy's the only one left. Is he like even fighting? If he's way, I mean, missiles are coming from there. But I think that's the helicopter. I might need to rearrange the fleet position to um, get him to to come closer in. So there's a little bit of a lull in the battle at this point. <laughs> this guy, he's like, almost half of him is gone, and he's still sailing, just like, all right, guys, no problem, I got this. Yeah, but so, like. Normally, when you would zoom out, you could, like, select all your stuff. Well, not now, so. <laughs> now I can't find a damn thing. Well, I mean, I can. So, like, you, Sky Buccaneer, what are you, the Phoenix, Ragjet. See, this is, see, these are coming from the, oh, wait, no, the Condor is shooting. What the fuck are you doing, helicopter? Come on. Move. Wow, is this just, <laughs> it's just like a constant barrage of stuff. I see. And that wasn't really the big guy. But, uh... That's all that's left now, is this big guy. 620-something thousand metal. This is a pretty ridiculous... I mean, we're just kind of floating in resources. It's actually funny how now metal is like we have like two or three times the amount of metal than we do anything else um, individually but I mean metal I think is one of the most cost um, intensive resources you need so I mean I find it hard to believe we're gonna go through like 258,000 oil no way we're we gonna use that much crystal um, someone did submit a design that used a lot of crystal I think it was a satellite of some type I'll have to double check and make sure. But I mean, at this point, it's just a matter of time. Here come those uh, kind of like seeking bombs from the uh, Sky Buccaneer. Although they look like they might miss. Some of them will. Or all of them. <laughs> Some of them did hit. So apparently, someone mentioned, which I didn't know. Um, so now your vehicles, like my own vehicles, do what these guys do and they start to like um what was the word like despawn or vaporize once they get below a certain amount of health so i think i'm going to change um while we finish this battle i'll explain i think i'm going to change the rule um i had with like scrapping things where if they were like below 30 percent once i would fix them and then after that if they got below 10 percent or whatever i wouldn't what i'm going to do now is just um let I'm gonna repair things until they vaporize once. Um start vaporizing once and uh once they do that, then after that, if they do again, I'm not gonna repair them, I'm, I'm just gonna scrap them. So kind of the same thing but a little different. And uh we finished that two hundred thirty three thousand, which is very nice. Um Deepwater Guard is not a hundred percent hatred. Oh, and did I mention this? That now, if something goes and engages one of your things, you can't just wait. Like, they won't just sit in limbo until you can send stuff there. They actually engage. So, uh, some people submitted stuff. Uh, one guy submitted 
same person who made um, this sensor satellite. He submitted like a satellite that can mine resource zones from space, which is pretty epic. And then um, someone else submitted a uh, design that is like a resource miner, but it's defended. Um, it's kind of like a little fortress with like cannons and stuff. So that's pretty cool. I'll have to start spawning those on in on like these. I don't think these will get bothered. The deep water guard. I don't know if they're dead or just like super weak, but uh, but yeah, so that's the deal there. Let's um, the last thing is of this episode, let's go ahead and spawn. Oh, that was actually really that was a dumb idea. <laughs> Since you're faster, let's take you over there and uh, let me just check here. All right, we are at 20 minutes. Um, We are at 20 minutes. Do I want to spawn in another dude? Maybe. I'm just bringing him closer because I'm going to spawn in a boat, and once I do, I want to combine it with the... No, it's actually back here. Idiot. <laughs> what am I doing? I thought I went into battle with that. Why does this say... Okay. So you can go ahead and come over here again. That was dumb for some reason, I thought. Yeah. How are things doing? So everything is pretty much good. Okay, let's uh, spawn you in, spawn you in. And actually, I mean, I spawned in like two things this episode. What I'm going to do, I'm going to end it here, guys. Um, we did get in one decent battle. And off screen, I'm going to decide, because I haven't decided and that could take a while. I'm going to decide what I want to spawn in. It will be a ship of some kind to go with the Aegis. And... Uh, yeah, next episode I will spawn that and probably a couple other things in as well. Uh, now we do have the gar Dark Gazer, which, never mind. <laughs> Not exactly, I didn't, I mean I can afford it, I just don't want to quite spend that much. But uh, yeah, I'll take a look, um, there were some new things submitted. Actually, what I need to do is I'll have to go into the uh, vehicle designer and spawn a lot of these things in and actually see what they are. Because I don't remember. I mean, I, I don't remember what every single one of these things are. So uh, I don't want to, like, randomly be spawning stuff in. It's just, like, <laughs> not what I want. But, uh... Dear Lord. But, uh, but yeah, that is going to be it for now, guys. So as always, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I do hope you enjoyed and look forward to the next. But until then, I look forward to seeing you all and do take care.